Oh, hello. Oh, look who it is. <laughs> Mr. Jason Love. How you doing, man? It was good. It was good. Uh, we're just doing a little podcast here and uh, figured that we would, uh, you know, have a little conversation with you to see exactly how all this was for you as well. Oh, my gosh. Cool, cool. That's why I chimed in. Catch y'all. See what's up. Jason, give me a, a genuine review. How was it? You want like a, like a, a number scale or just like? Numbers sounds like it could be hurtful, but if, you, <laughs> if it's a high number, sure. Like a four, hundred percent, nine out of ten. Really, nine out of ten. Who's like, if I should feel diminished as a man as a result of this, like the narrative is very, very strong. I just want to get your thoughts on that, and if, if, if how people should think about that in in the context of me being, you know, the the silent third party in all this. Well, I don't know. Like, if you look at it in a business aspect, then basically it was just a job, you know. She's high up in her ranks. I'm high up in my ranks. Us two together, obviously, would make the most amounts of money. So it's not so much being a cook. If you're comfortable with it, y'all communicated the prior. Obviously, she said y'all did. So it's not really a situation. It's more of like two people coming and making an understanding. Yeah. You know. So if you're cool with it, then you know it is what it is. Me personally, I don't know if I have enough in me to allow it, but Everyone is different. Everyone have different levels of, how do I say, mental maturity. <laughs> Lena, Lena is just like shriveling up into a ball right now. I can see how uncomfortable this is making you. Yes, this is making me very uncomfortable. And I'm glad that he's only, you know, on Zoom and not here right now. Do you think that would be awkward? <laughs> yes. Also, I would feel like I'd feel very, a lot of sexual tension. And I felt like we would have to do a scene oh if you guys were God. both here. <laughs> see, she's out of control now. She's on a tear. <laughs> I've, I've been known to have that effect. I apologize. See, all right. Now I'm going to have to really mind you next time you're going to an adult event that he's going to be at, right? <laughs> no, but I would be turned on if you were there. Ah. Yeah, it's like you're part of it. So you think that if me and you go out to a party and we see him, that there's a chance that we'd all end up hooking up after? I don't know what his stance is on working with you. Oh, wow. Well, <laughs> good point. Yeah. Hmm. As long as I'm not Plotting. sitting in a chair with my fucking arms to, tied one, behind my back or whatever. You gotta hold the camera okay. for one shot. Right. So if we do choose to have another kid, how am I gonna know it's mine and not Oh my god, I can't no, cut. What? What? Don't even bring that up. Are you kidding me? Well, that's one of the good memes that people have been passing around. It's like me cuddling with your belly and it's a little black kid inside it. I hate you. I hate you so much. Oh, we're gonna do like a full length interview at some point, but um I appreciate you banging my wife. <laughs> and uh Yeah. What I'm going to knock it out. That's what I do. Hey, I, I absolutely I cannot hold it against you, my friend. Did you see it yet? I saw a few of the, the clips and uh yeah, I think you guys you put it down. <laughs> I believe if it was mainstream, it probably would win an award. Oh, well, that's a big idea. My assistant did give me the idea to submit it for an AVN. I was like, I don't know. I feel like huh? this might be crossing the line. Yeah, Pound Town. You just <laughs> left Pound Town. I was going to call it the wedding gift. Mm. <laughs> for the record, it's not literally your wedding gift, but it, it was something that we kind of like felt more comfortable with after the wedding and whatnot, right? It just makes sense. That's what everyone's latching on to. They just got married, you know? Mm. So... <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mr. Love, oh appreciate you. Bye, Jason. Thank you. Bye, Lena. It is a sickness. It's Miss Meat Lover. <sighs> oh. 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 Jesus Christ. Is you need to get some help. Remember, King, you can try to be your soulmate and she'll forget about you in a day. But if you be her most toxic ex, she'll be talking about you in therapy for the rest of her life. And go ahead and follow. Stay toxic. It's an evil world we live in. I just prefer girls in literally every possible way of speaking. And <laughs> like what does if that I even could mean? go through life without interacting with men, that sounds like paradise. Feminists like this often tout these man-hating talking points without an understanding of their current reality. Because imagine a world where the men just disappeared. The plush, easy world that you now occupy 
would fundamentally collapse. Who would farm y'all foods? Who would build y'all shelters and housings and maintain them? Who would go on top of the electrical power lines and maintain electricity, maintain your Wi-Fi? Who would build and maintain the plumbing or the sanitation? Do you think that the world's knowledge would just download to all women who don't wanna do these activities to begin with in the first place? Modern day civilization was built and maintained by men, but all of a sudden now that it's built, then you don't need us? That we're disposable? How about you stop complaining and go off and build your female utopia? Cause nobody is stopping you. Which one is harder to be in a relationship with? Single mom or single father? I'm gonna have to say single father. A single mother, wouldn't you say she's looking for that man to step in as a provisionary at some point, meaning that he will have to provide for those kids at some point? Some point, like he would have to show some Okay, now so take that, right? Mm -hmm. Would you say the same thing for the single father? Would he look for that woman to come in and to provide tangible things from that woman? Would he look at her to provide that no? Okay, so think about that, right? So since the woman looks for security value, naturally, whether she got right? a kid or not, she looks for security. And in order to get that security met, the guy has to provide. Right. But vice versa, on the single father, he's not looking for that girl to come in and to provide. So wouldn't you say it's harder for a guy to date a single mother? Because he has to provide something? Oh, not man. only that, let's say this, right? <laughs> Wouldn't you say that he has the bulk of the responsibility with zero authority when it comes to the kids? Because if the kids is acting up, oh, don't, oh, don't talk to my kids like that. Oh, don't hit my kid. That's my baby. Oh, don't do this. So he has all the responsibility of raising these kids, but no authority. And guess what? Responsibility without authority is slavery. Wow. Oh, mm. yeah, you're speaking. Gotcha, bitch. Why do you think women are paid less than men? Depends. Let's say for football, I'm just being honest, women aren't as skilled as men are in football, so less people will watch it and less people will buy tickets, which is how footballers make their money. You, they gotta be six foot. Yeah, at least. Let's say he's five nine, but if he stand on his money, he's seven one. Does that change anything? If he has money, I would say yeah. Okay. But it has to be a lot of money. How much money are we talking? Maybe like billion. Oh, a billion? Who you? Jeff Bezos? Ah, damn. Your roster deep like that? Yeah. Got a lot of dudes in your roster? Yeah. You're not from here, are you? No. Where you from? Thailand. Yeah, we have a lot of lady boys. Are you? Go figure. Just hear me out now, hear me out. Have you ever cheated before? Not with another human. What do you mean? Uh, I cheated on my boyfriend with his dog. <laughs> it was a golden retriever. I mean, how did your boyfriend find out? He opened the door and I was in the doggy position with his doggy. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, 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 you crazy. You guys cheat for a hundred dollars? Would I cheat for? All right. Is that real? No, it's real. Probably. Yeah. You're for real. I'm being for real. Why? I mean, it's a, a hundred. Uh, it's a hundred. You know. To cheat? To cheat? I mean, like, that's a lot of money. Oh. Come on. I feel like spend on like both. Like Melina, you're married to Destiny. Shout out to Destiny. If Destiny was broke and 300 pounds, would you be in love with him? I would be with in him? love with him. Yeah. Bullshit. Sure. I mean, you could say that. I'm being Stop honest. I like, I like him for his opinions. I like him for the way he is. His like, humor. I like him for his that intelligence. Is... That's the things that I love him for. So does yeah. intelligence pay the bills? Intelligence and his heart? Because it's you. It's the personality. But that's it's what not pays the bills. It's not your money. So if you're homeless and you have no car and no house, nothing to feed the kids. Why do you but I go to the like, most extreme example. Because I'm not attracted to people that have cars and money. That's not what I'm attracted to. Because people like you are only 
attracted to those things. You would That's ditch your true. guy That's right away. A guy makes you less than me. But way why less in that me. case? Yeah, but why the fuck are you arguing and saying that I would leave it? Because if you're the same as me. Women look for men that have resources that can be present. But clearly you don't. Protect. You just told me you're not, right? I, I'm anomaly, darling. Yo, just so you're gonna tell no. me how I feel? What's something you've never told your parents? So my mom got remarried, and come to find out, my stepdad, who was my sugar daddy at the time, Whoa. married my mom. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, that's awkward. Yeah, it was really fun at the wedding. Whoa! She belongs to the streets. My boyfriend loves my cooking. Copyright. What the hell is that? Nah, yo. Stop playing with my mans, though. With the Cheetos on the side, where's the other half of the bun? Show my brother some respect. No, not with the goddamn plastic Welch's fruit stacks next to the terrible looking grilled cheese. Grow up. Ah, oh, for breakfast? What is he for? Uh, that shit ain't funny at all. Ladies, listen to me. Cooking is a basic life skill. Don't you dare put no hot Cheetos on our goddamn plate. Look at how good she is at completely killing his vibe. Look at... <laughs> oh. <laughs> look at, look at. He about to smile. Oh. <laughs> Come on, this is what's going to happen. Dude's probably, look up. No grown-ass man talks to another grown-ass man like this on the phone. So he's already looking like he's finding your replacement. I believe, you know, the man is supposed to be the breadwinner. Okay. Uh, we, I would like to, like, talk about, you know, maybe having a, a weekly allowance or something. Okay. How much would the, yeah, how how much would be, you know. So how much is a weekly allowance? Like my, my last relationship. You know, he was giving me like two, three thousand every week. So Isn't it funny how some women associated providing men with money and money only? Whatever happened to a man providing information, education, guidance, advice, or even behavior improvement? Do you know why some women consider a man giving them money being the provider of the relationship? Because that is the only thing they would accept from a man. A lot of modern women, they don't want no guidance. They don't want to be told that they need to do better as the female in that relationship. How could that woman from the previous clip, I'm not judging her, how could she be an asset to his life? How can she bring improvement to his life? Actually goes for a lot of women out there. A lot of women, they are so cool and so content with spending a man's money that he clearly works hard for and don't even pack the man's lunch. Girl, please. These women, they don't even want to, they don't even want to master the basics in a relationship. They don't want to cook. They don't want to clean. They don't want to do none of that. They just want to sit there, be pretty and spend the man's money. And what kind of world do you live in, honestly? And especially, what are you going to do when you get old? Whose money are you going to spend then? You're going to be alone and ugly. 